Welcome to Rise and Shine channel by Sarabjit Sidhu. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you so much for showing greater support to our channel. Uh, we will try to share more uh, information with you on a consistent basis. Uh, this Sunday, uh, Dr. Ajit, he organized, you know, one very good webinar on AI. And at that, during that webinar, at the end, we were having a discussion with the student and lot many questions came in around where the opportunities are, where, you know, and then ICMR also came in, like students can also try their jobs at ICMR uh, for clinical research jobs. So, and then the students were asking what type of, you know, questions are being asked, what type, what is the interview style at ICMR, right? So then it, I just thought, right, why not I can prepare one video and a share experience with you because once I had interview at ICMR and it was very good experience and I got selected as well. So let's begin. So this is our today's topic, like how if you wanted to go for a job at ICMR, maybe a scientist, maybe a consultant, right? What is the interview style? You know, it may change what I am sharing with you today, but there will be some part will be similar to it. Uh, and they pay you very well. At that time when I gave my interview for a consultant in a medical writing, or you can say that it is equivalent to a scientist role, it was over, you know, one lakh. The package was like one lakh per month. The package from package wise, salary wise, it was good. It was competent to industry standards. So I also wanted to give you a little context to what the job role was because the, my discussion will be built around that it was for a tv project uh, because icmr uh, the government set up the center at icmr for a tv to bring out more diagnostics prevention you know and a cure so all these three pillars around these three pillars the tv project was supposed to work and for that project they were trying to set up a team so they i given my interview for a medical writing so let me share with you what is, let's discuss what is the format of interview. There was like two uh, formats. One was a written test and there was a panel discussion. And now this written test, it was not very difficult. It, if you have prepared, very easy and much simpler than the corporate setup and panel discussion. You know, panel discussion, you can say that face to face, interview and they are generally at my time there were seven members so this is your round table you can say face to face interview now before i started i share the context like it was on tv prevention diagnostic cure so when we think about uh, you know prevention it is what comes in mind is vaccine right cure drugs and all that diagnostic what current diagnostics are available disease word and why they are setting a center in india so I anticipated these questions because this job, job description was in front of me. So you can easily take the data from WHO website or other websites. So I done my homework. So what type of vaccine trials have been done or in a progress, you can take a example from ct.gov. Correct. So then I prepared myself and then they were having a written test and panel discussion. So let's discuss first what was there in the written test. So in a written test, there was like a few general questions on clinical research. What is clinical research, different phases, uh, you know, uh, then what is SOP, very basic questions, you know. In fact, uh, what are the different GCP, guy, you know, principles. So all these questions like a simple stat question, what is, what you mean by 0 0.05, which everyone knows, right? Significance, non-significance. And there was a one, this question, which, you know, uh, they were question was just imagine it is a vaccine trial hmm? please write the objectives and study design because i prepared myself because it is a vex for a vaccine you know what will be the uh, objectives if it is a phase two trial immunogenicity they will be testing you know efficacy in, in the form of immunogenicity and safety will always be there, right? So I wrote that study design, 
made uh, two parallel groups like one may be giving placebo another is studied right like hypothetically but i was able to do this because i prepared myself what was another you know there was another question also in a written test is um, uh, write a letter to dcgi that was very simple you know like write a letter to dcgi to book a time to discuss uh, some important discussion points so that was very easy one so if you know how to write emails even if you have known little bit of plain uh, you know uh, experience on writing email maybe to school principal college principal you will be able to write that so m my view on a written test it was very simple and easily easily one able be be able to do if you have prepared yourself right so no, and now they, days I have learned that they don't even take a written test for other jobs because one of my friend, uh, she gave an interview uh, little, uh, I think couple of months back, there was no written test. So, so there was a panel discussion followed by that. Uh, there were seven members, so you can say this is face-to-face -face interview and they will definitely, at my time, they brought in my written test also. Uh, <clears throat> so in this my panel interview, don't get uh, you know mm, uh, upset that how it will be don't get stressed out it was very easy they made you feel very comfortable at the starting they started with the very basic thing you know please introduce yourself now here is i always say that at the introduction that it is your chance to shine how so you know the jd so link you are uh, yourself to that JD that's make it feel that you are a very fit candidate like how oh. so if you have done say I have done MSc in microbiology so I know they are doing a trial and vaccine this is TV right so I linked to that I spoke I had spoken about my academics I also spoken about that I already done worked in a vaccine trial this is my experience and I also spoken about bit of you know what is um, international bodies are saying on the TV burden in India right so then then it will feel like you're very much interested in a job so that will show that you are intrigued so spoke about that and um, then they started asking you know very simple question what is clinical research or uh, different phases in fact they ask what is the different phases uh, what what is phase one meant while then they layer up the questions right like okay what you test in phase one two what is the difference between these two and how about if your phase two is not successful like that question then uh, one question on whether real world uh, evidence all these basic questions they asked and i still remember they asked about uh, icgcp but they asked like okay can you tell us about e6 guideline they, they that person i still remember he didn't ask me that can you tell me about gcp he has asked me basically he tricked, tricked me and tested me that can you please tell me about e6 guideline so now uh, this is where your preparation help we know e6 is the another name of uh, uh, you know gcp right because it comes under e6 efficacy 6 right so then i was able to answer you know uh, and then they also for, they were having followed up questions on e6 guideline like okay what is the responsibility of a sponsor uh, what according to you what is the responsibility of an investigator all that questions they asked one after another because you know if you started then they will pick your words only hmm? then they also asked about the regulation at that time uh, dcgi's new regulation new drug rule 2019 just came in they asked me questions on that uh, like what is the difference in new drug rules key highlights not you need not to know everything you know so that they asked and in fact they also asked like uh, how many SMEs committee are they are in DCGI so I was knowing that just as I am saying again and again because I prepared 25 uh, subject matter experts are they are in at DCGI those review each and every protocol so then again another uh, panel member he started asking me, okay, you know, do you know one of our pillar is uh, prevention? How you, what you think that how you will um, uh, prevent something? So I said that a vaccine is one way, right? So then he said that uh, what will be the goal of vaccine trials? You know, so first goal will be definitely safety. And second goal is, you know, uh, immunogenicity. Uh, so then he said, how you will be measuring the immunogenicity, correct? Because they were just speaking my words. 
how you will be immuning uh, measuring the immunogenicity I said, I said like baseline that fourfold immunity increase if there is right, like that so and uh, another because I said safety just look at like you know they were just um, asking you based on what responses you are giving so then next question came in like okay around the safety uh, what is the difference between A's and SA's then I definition I gave it like you know all the five uh, like essays death hospitalization prolonged hospitalization incongenital defects all the answers right answers i given so then they also asked like when you should report what is the maximum time you should report essays it's like immediately 24 hours you know why they asked this like how much within how much time because i said essay should be reported immediately hmm? then he immediately picked my butt what do you mean by immediately i said like 24 hours so then it's complete answer right and then uh, another question was on the same safety is that how you will measure safety in a trial correct how you will be measuring safety as so like the answer is by reporting AEs and SAEs you know you will come to know about the safety so again here they were very uh, impressive with my answer because they, their question was in real time so you are working in operation the trial is ongoing how you will measure the safety of a patient correct patient care and uh, because here national i will also tell you here i also told them that uh, the biological sample will be collected and they will be tested for abnormal lab values that will also give you an idea about the safety then he immediately asked me you are a medical writer uh, suppose there is a sample collection and transplantation to um, central lab what will be the title of the sop you know, so then I gave a title is like uh, collection of biological uh, collection uh, transportation uh, of a biological samples correct uh, no, no still one word is missing collection transportation and the storage of a biological sample so then next question immediately came from a storage like what temperature you will be storing biological samples uh, so I said like what what whatever it is defined within protocol correct so that's how you should be answering and preparing yourself and don't get panic and these are the answers i have done very well there was one expert member uh, who was having a lot of experience in a publication and she uh, directly asked me how many publication you have uh, till now right and i said like uh, um, at that time even i had not published my book i said like only one that two i have done in my master's program and um, she was asking me little more questions on how to publish within journal honestly saying uh, there were one or two questions i was not having an accurate answer i said that uh, you know i don't have that publication experience with me but if there is a guidance i can learn and i can help right so there so this publication my publication part didn't go i'll say that very well as in comparison to the rest of my interview and there was another question which was you know we were moving to the last and that they were asked like uh, i think she was principal investigator of this tb project they asked like suppose you are writing a protocol tell us like all the members from whom you need to take an input input so of course that was very easy for me a scientific uh, you know person or you can say that investigator or a stat team operation team you know there were few that i was able to answer immediately so i said that this is a teamwork and we need to take inputs at least from these people so they were satisfied with my answer so at the end um, then they were also reviewing my written test they gave me honest feedback at that time like where i have done uh, given a right answer where they might have expected little better from me and um overall my ex this face to face interview was like i think I, I don't know the exact time but it was definitely around more than 50 minutes and i didn't realize that 50 minutes were over because overall discussion was very nice and i was also participating and they were motivating also throughout you know wherever i was answering right so my key takeaway from this interview you can easily face any interview when you are prepared always prepare that what is always just look at what job description is saying right that is the key and second whatever is written in 
your CV. So although, you know, one sad part was that at that time I got another offer also that I couldn't continue with ICMR. So I immediately shared my decision. But overall, it was very nice experience. Thank you so much. Um, I hope this is quite interesting and helpful to you. And you can also leave your suggestions and comment for us. Subscribe, rise and shine by Sarabjeet Sadhu.